Okay guys, here we are. Satch 4x4 time. Now things are going to get messy here. Let's do some bogging. Oh, this is not going to be good, is it? Oh, that poor castle motor. Oh no, we're stuck. So how are we going to get out of this one then? I don't want to get my feet wet. Come on, castle. Give me something. Come on. Nope. Trying to back it up. Water's going everywhere. Trying to back it up. Come on. Break free. No, nothing at all. Oh, we're definitely stuck in there. Come on, Slashy. No, nope, these are the helping hand, guys. Let's give it a push along. Let's try that. Yeah. So I'm running on the castle setup here. <laughs> that is a quick setup. <laughs> I think we should try that water again. This time I'm going to hit this with speed. Use speed as our ally. <sighs> here we go, speed as an ally. Oh, I skimmed it. If only I'd kept accelerating. Oh, no, I'm gonna get stuck again. <laughs> oh, we need a close up of that, guys. Close up is needed. Let's have a little look at this, what's going on here. Oh, that shot, though. Come on, come on, Slashy. Right, back it up. No, nothing, forward, nothing. I can hear the slipper spinning. All right, we'll leave it there. Ah, uh, that is just disgusting. Uh, definitely something stuck in the wheels. Uh, stopping it from turning the back wheels. Let's pull it out and have a proper look at it. See what's going on. All four wheels seem to be okay. Oh no, this one here can't turn. What's in the wheel? Oh, it looks like a pine cone. Uh, 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 that's why it couldn't get out the river or out the water. Come on. Yes, a dodgy looking pine cone. There we have it. Okay, let's skim some water. Let's skim this bitch. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. You won't hear me say this every day, but I actually need some lube. I need some lube on those bearings and that motor. Uh, sounds like the pinion gear has come free from the spur gear. Let's check it out. I mean, luckily I carry some spare spur gears with me at all times, so that in case we have disasters like this in the field, and a set of tools as well, and we can carry some extra bearings and uh, some screws and things like that, some Allen keys, or hex wrenches, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, you can see the spur gear is definitely stripped, and if we look at the pinion, the pinion's moved. So really, um, yeah, let's change the spur gear 
and go from there. And now guys, I wasn't actually able to change the spur gear. Uh, I actually forgot one of the tools I needed to remove uh, the slipper clutch. And uh, yeah, so I had to move the, <laughs> the pinion closer to the spur gear. And this is gonna wear the motor harder than it needs to, work it harder. Uh, it's gonna overheat the motor possibly. But uh, I'm hoping we'll be okay. Let's see how we get on. Let's just be gentle for now and we'll see how we go. It's driving okay though for now. It's doing what we want it to do. Isn't this the creepiest scene you've ever seen? It's like a film from like the Blair Witch Project or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds to me like we've got a storm brewing. So I've just come under the trees now to get a bit of shade. It's uh, starting to rain, so yeah, I don't want to get too wet. <laughs> oh, hello. More bogging. Mmm, tasty. I have to say I'm completely surprised that the uh, Castle motor and ESC in this have actually not smoked or puffed or blown up yet or caught fire. Simply because of the amount of strain they're under, you think how heavy that body is, think how heavy all the mud in the shell is, and obviously within the actual uh, chassis itself. The fact it's pulling itself through all this mud all the time. Oh. Definitely bogged down there. Let's give it a helping hand. Oh no, he's stuck already. That's the thing with the low CG. It doesn't have much ground clearance, hence why it's low centre of gravity. I'm trying the old crawly trick where you steer. We can get through this if we try, guys. Come on. Oh, he's out! Oh, oh he's nearly out! Oh, <laughs> what's happened to the shell? <laughs> oh, dear me. Come on, you can do it, Slashy. So I've just had to come under some covers here, guys. It's a bit wet out there, a bit dirty, a bit wet. <laughs> Let's get going with this then. The rains are coming. I don't know, bro, this forest seems a bit creepy to me. Look how misty it is. It's massive and it's very mysterious. And here comes the rain again. Is I know how to abuse a Traxxas slash 4x4. Sorry, utilise. Whoa, dude, I've never seen anything like this. This place is like a scene from The Revenant. I feel like a bear's gonna come out at any moment. It's so quiet in here. It's like a soundproof room. Jeez. Oh man, I thought I'd just take the shell off the slash to reveal what's underneath while we change the lipo out. <laughs> There's nothing you can see in there. New battery pack, let's go. Skimming the water. Can we make it to the other side? Oh, 
Oh, and I will repair all of the damages to the spur, get and bearings when I get back to the flat later on. Oh, and clean it. Just as a bonus q and I get asked a lot, is it worth going for the two-wheel drive or the four-wheel drive slash 4 by 4 My honest answer is go with what you can afford, but I would definitely recommend the four-wheel drive over the two-wheel drive. It grips like you'd not believe. Okay, who remembers this spot then? Okay then guys, thank you so much for watching this YouTube video with me, Jake Billing, and the Traxxas slash 4x4. I hope you enjoyed the mud bogging. As always, please like, subscribe, share those videos around, and I'll see you next time for some more slash fun. See you later on guys, take care for now.